and welcome back guys. Today we're going to be going through a command block video to um, specifically find something in somebody's inventory, e.g. if they've got something like TNT, um, like J-Dog's holding there, it's going to be able to find that and give that specific player a punishment. Um, I know there are other command blocks that just clear stuff, but I've been trying to work on this for a little while, um, just so it actually hits the right person and um, yeah, actually gives them the... Uh, the consequence rather than getting somebody random so let's get into it with a quick example so as you can see j has got um, a load of bedrock in his hand which is an illegal item and we don't want him holding that in this realm or server so what's gonna happen he's gonna run towards the bridge as soon as he gets to be the closest player taken off him he's had a little message to say no and he's been struck by lightning um, and even if he moves away it's not going to affect me it's still going to be affecting him um, so let's get down to the commands for that in fact, before we get into the commands, I'll show you what um, happens to his screen as well. If, if I quickly switch my HUD back on. Oh. Sorry, I've got a controller's going a bit funny at the moment. I think it needs a bit replacing. <laughs> Been used extensively. All right, so HUD's back on. And yeah, so I'm carrying the bedrock now. It's not affecting me if I'm not the closest player. Obviously, this will be when the closest player is. But if you've got it in spawn or somewhere that someone's bound to be going anyway it's always going to work or as soon as the other player would have logged off it would have caught on to the person with the bad items so running towards it gets taken off you'll see you're carrying bedrock um, or whatever message you want to put and i'm hit by lightning um, i've chose this time to do it so it takes it away as well um, you can do it so it happens forever or you can um, add a load more options like kick the player um, clear their items anything like that but we'll go through that now so to get this started, as you can see on the right side, I've got it displayed so you can see I've got something called bad item. That's the scoreboard that I've opened up um, that will give a specific amount of coins if somebody's had an item and we take it away from them. Now just to get that set up, we're going to do a scoreboard command, uh, which I'll do now, which is forward slash scoreboard objectives add. Um, obviously I've done mine already so it pops up on the left, but it's, it's bad item or you can name it whatever you want um, and then follow it by dummy I won't hit enter now because I've already well, actually in fact I think it would just say I've already got it um, yeah so as you can see there an objective with the name bad item already exists so you've made your objective now obviously you've hit enter and it said that you've got a new objective um, you're going to want to display it so that's another scoreboard objectives set display um, well, you know, in fact, you don't even have to display it. The, sorry, the point is that you don't display it or you can have it somewhere that only you can check. Obviously, I've set a display so you can actually make sure that it's working. If you want to do this at first, um, yeah, just set a display to wherever. Um, I've done sidebar. Oh. And then follow up with what you want to do it with, which is bad item, which is the objective. Um, obviously, I've already got mine on there, so it's showing. Um, and then once you have got it all set up and you want to take it off, it's just the same command um, without anything at the end so it's just a scoreboard objectives set display sidebar and that will just clear it yep there we go <laughs> so a bit of, bit of lag there all right so let's pop that back on for us all right so you can basically see what's going on in the point system at the moment uh, next thing you're going to want to do is just set everybody at zero so that's the scoreboard players uh, set at a bad item zero so everybody's on a zero score at the moment um, and they're, they're not being given any scores for bad items so once you've got that all set up you're going to want to put where it actually uh, finds them from so i've just done a little bridge here but um, what you might do is might put it in the middle of spawn maybe near a shop somewhere that people just generally have to go past on your realm or server um, and we do two command blocks. First one is a repeating unconditional always active and it's going to be clearing, uh, yeah, simply clearing the item that you don't want. So in this case it's bedrock, so it's a clear at P bedrock, that's the closest player. Um, and that's why it works, so it'll work if I'm closer than J-Dog, but it won't work if I'm further away. However, again, being on the Realm or server, they're bound to be getting caught, especially if you actually put it somewhere where they're going to be spawning in or having to run past, just going to detect them. Follow that up with a chain conditional always active, uh, no ticks and delay, and that's going to be a scoreboard players add at P, so the closest person again, bad item, and we're going to give them 10. 
doesn't specifically have to be 10, I've just chosen 10 and you have to remember that number for the next command block. Um, so basically what's happened here is as I've come closer and I've got bedrock, the command blocks have noticed it, it's taken away the bedrock, um, I've done it so it won't give you a point for every piece that you have, It's more, it clears it in one and it gives you that one score. So you've got 10 because it's cleared you and it's given you 10 points. Now then we come over to here and this is if you want to just do a warning sign and then take it away again. So what I've done here is I've done an execute command. I'm doing an execute at A, um, square bracket, scores, so that's how many score, that's what score you have on your scoreboard. So scores equals uh, the funny little bracket, I don't know the name for it unfortunately, um, and then bad items. So this is the same exact name that I've set up for my scoreboard objective. Bad items equals 10. This is why important that the numbers match because it's testing out that the score is 10 and obviously you've given them 10 and it will recognize it. Anyway, close it off with a funny bracket and square bracket. Uh, squiggly, squiggly, squiggly. That indicates that it's executing at A but uh, where they are there and then. And you're going to execute at that person a title at P. So this is doing it to the closest person to where you are. Um, action bar and then you are carrying bedrock that can be any message that you actually want to put on it um, I've just put you're carrying bedrock you might want to put um, uh, first warning or etc so that is basically set up a system that it will clear what they've got and it will tell them they're not allowed to do it um, one thing that I did add to it is actually because obviously we're going to continue with putting on a punishment I won't show you, show you that one yet that's basically that will that will clear it um, that's if you want the whole thing to stop after a while. Um, in fact, we'll do this. So yeah, if you want it to stop, what I've done is I've done an X, um, sorry, chain conditional always active. So that will happen as soon as uh, somebody's been found with a score of 10. And it's an execute at a, again, same as last one, scores equals bad items, um, for testing for 10 points again. Um, and we're going to be scoreboard players set at s bad item zero so they've basically got 10 points for doing it they've been warned um and then we're clearing it afterwards so they can continue on with the game obviously that's completely optional i've done a hundred tick delay there so from the moment they get found and they've get taken the item off of them uh, they've got 100 ticks but sorry 100 tick warning so i think that's about five seconds where it will say you're carrying the bad item and it will give them the punishment. Obviously, let's move on to the punishment now. You can choose whatever you wanted it to be. I've just done lightning bolt because obviously it would hurt the player um, and sort of be indicating, look, don't do that. Otherwise, you're going to get some sort of punishment. And obviously, if you do want to kick the player, there's a, play a kick one there as well. So for the lightning bolt, what I've done, again, very similar. You can pretty much copy the whole thing over and just change the end of it. So it's execute at A. Um, you know bracket scores bad item again it's got to be spelled the same bad item and the number's going to be the same if you want it to do it for that bedrock you know be punished for that particular item um squiggly 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 summon lightning bolt and that's going to be summoning a lightning bolt to whoever has that score so that's why as soon as i get some bedrock it'll clear it and then i get hit by the lightning but um j dog doesn't so if i move away from him should be one more lightning bolt but yeah anyway <laughs> so that is basically it's detected who's got it it's cleared him it's given him a warning sign it's given him a few lightning bolts and then it's taken it uh, back off of him so he can continue with the game with his warning obviously if you wanted it just to be that they get found with a bad item and they get a pun you know it doesn't get taken away from them all you do is just take that command block off you don't need it um, if I turn that off right now, and we do it, you'll see that it will just keep happening over and over until you know an admin or somebody comes in and does it, uh, takes it off of him, and the lightning will just continue down. So let's switch it off because that get a bit annoying. So that will now stop after five seconds because, yeah, we've tested for it. If you want to move on to actually kick, let's say it's an item that you really, really shouldn't have, and um, you know, if any item has, uh, sorry, if any player has got it, you you want to get rid of them straight away. You can do the very same command just with a kick at S. So execute at A. Scores equals bad items. Um, Ten points again because that's what we've 
join to the bedrock. Um, squiggly, 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 kick at S, and that will kick that person. In fact, what we'll do is we'll test it. Oh, no, I can't test it out with that account. <laughs> I can't get kicked out of this one, so we're recording. So that will basically kick the person. That will give them a lightning bolt. Um, and if you want to program different items, so you want to have a secondary one, now, once you've got um, that set up and you want to add any more items, all you've got to do is basically just change the score for what you're testing at. So if I want to test for, I've done this for mob, uh, the mob spawner, and as you can see, sorry, <laughs> bit of a pause there. Um, it's a repeating unconditional, and it will be always active. I've just switched it off for now. Um, and we're going to be doing an execute at A, and it's pretty much the same, apart from we've done a score of 15 rather than 10. And the consequence for this, I've just done a say at S, you are not allowed a mob spawner. So this is basically just saying the chat bar on the left at that person, you're not allowed a mob spawner. Um, to detect this, it's pretty much exactly the same two commands, apart from we're going to be testing for 15. So clear at P, mob spawner, or whatever the secondary item is, or another item that you want to add to it. Um, repeating unconditional, always active and then another chain conditional always active and that's going to be a scoreboard players add at p bad items and this time it's 15 rather than 10. Um, so if you've got that item it'll give you 15 and you'll get the punishment from here. Um, you can really change this punishment or you know consequence to anything so if you've got the execute at a scores equals bad items 15 squiggly 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 after that you can follow up with pretty much any other command um, as in you know kick, kick at s say at s um i'm just trying to think of what else you might want to use it for oh tp at s so you might want them to tp continuously to a certain place um like a prison or something like that so you can pretty much execute any anything that you want to do to that player anything from obviously just a warning sign to a lightning bolt um to kick um and what we're going to do is just do a like a tp so let's say if you wanted to put them in prison you might have a prison set up and you might uh, not want them to be able to get out of there or do any damage um we're going to change this to oh yeah so the first bit always stays the same so execute at a um scores bad oh spelled that wrong <laughs> might be why that is not working so yeah bad item this is why it's got to be spelled correctly otherwise it will not be testing for the right thing so bad item and we're testing for a score of 10 which is bedrock squiggly 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 and then this is what you follow up with whatever you want to um so you can do like a tp a kick um clear you might want to clear all of the player's stuff as a punishment so we're going to do tp at s um coordinates of 2020 because it's a repeating command block they'll be pretty much stuck in the air not be able to do anything and they'll get cleared after five seconds um, if you have got this command block coming off of it because it will clear after 100 ticks so if we give ourselves some bedrock you see I'm TP'd and I cannot move out of this place I'm getting lightning bolted and I cannot do anything uh, until the five seconds up hopefully we'll be soon got a little warning there oh longer there we go and now my punishment is over thank god i'm not too far away um so yeah it's it's pretty neat way of being able to you know rather than just clear items actually show players that you know yeah they can't have it and you're going to get a punishment for it it might sort of scare them into not actually carrying them items in the end um so i hope i haven't made it too confusing i've tried to explain it as best as i can but yeah i mean realistically it is a very simple one and it, you know yeah Hopefully it will help for your realms and servers. So thanks again for watching guys. I hope this has helped. Please do leave a like as it does help out my channel a lot. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye.